Do you want your exhaust to go from this to this? Hi guys and welcome back to the next episode of the Polo Build. In this episode we're going to be going over the exhaust and the reason I'm replacing the exhaust is because when I've been driving around in um, the exhaust it caught on a speed bump and it broke um, the exhaust. So I'm going to go over how to do it, what to tools we'll need and maybe we might need some additional electrical tools if you know what I mean. So watch along, I appreciate you watching, like and subscribe and let's get this job done. Right so here's a new exhaust. Um, I got the full thing from Poland. Um, Poland eBay and I'm gonna be honest it's not gonna be, it's not gonna to need to do me long but the welds have been done by by the apprentice <laughs> but um, for the price I paid for it I'm not doing either really and let's put the pops on the floor um, <coughs> before I had to start trying to undo under the car so that's where it's leaking from here and that's because like I said the last idiot that put this in well would rather have welded there than read on the mountains you know so as you can see I have zip, zip tied it just to keep it up so I'm just gonna now, sorry, sorry guys. I'm gonna now, I'll keep that light on. I'm gonna now just make sure it all sort of measures up. All sort of measures up so it's the right size and whatnot. So, two minutes. Right, so the back box part, that fits fine. But the middle section, oh dear, is too small. If we look at, um, let's say it goes from here to here, it doesn't go all the way. It's got probably there, and you've got a flexi, the flexi as well. So it's missing that flexi part as well. So I'll have to get onto eBay. And ask him about that because obviously, because obviously, because obviously, I don't weld. So, um, so that's that's probably going to be another time I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the middle section because, like I said, it needs to be done. So, I'm going to undo. Okay, so this nut seems to be a 13. No, it doesn't. All right, might be smaller. Right, so I didn't have to um, cut it off. Um, the bolt just snapped. So it's come threaded completely off. So threaded completely off, there we are. I mean, I've stripped it completely off. So I'm currently at the stage of trying to unloose on that. Well, I'll show you this that quick, how loose it is. So. There we are. So it is completely detached from the weld. Um, so the current plan is to get this off, which shouldn't be too long really. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Right, yeah, yeah, right. So, as you can see, I got the grinder out. So, let's start this out, shall we? It's absolutely, absolutely, until I cack to this exhaust. One-handed again. Hey, there we are. 
there we are. Right down there. Look at the stair to that. Oh dear. It's not often I uh, clean a pole like this. <laughs> Big daddy here. Right. Oh. Right. Let's have a look in here, shall we? Look at the absolute state on that. There we are. I thought I'd show you. No, that's not my cash. Just gotta shake it out. Right. Let's get a fit in this, shall we? Let's just do a a no rear silencer sound. Right, so, right, so while we're at it, I'm gonna replace this because this is. I think it's got a few more years left in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right, so let's get it replaced. Um, and again, when you're doing stuff with one hand, it always looks amazing, doesn't it? On camera, yeah, there we are. So there's the old one, um, very perished, and the new one. So I'm not sure if there's um, a difference because of um, it stretched over the years, but there is a bit of a difference. I'm gonna try it anyway. If I have to, I'll pop it back on the old one, sorry. Right, so that uh, new bushing's done, this is on. Just one of the mountains is on so far because this one, I'm a bit wobbly. Um, there we are, completely broke off. Um, what I'm going to try and do is do like a makeshift something <coughs> so I can do this here because they are shit, aren't they? They are shit. Um, I might drill something into there, but you can see how rusty it is. It needs a good, good cleaning anyway. So that's pretty much it. Um, um, I'm just see if I can do it for my. Right, that's pretty much it, really. I'm just gonna um, fasten it all up. Probably zip tie a few bits to a few bits uh, for now, and then we'll go from there, really. Right, so what I've done here is grinded the mountain off and also screwed it. <clears throat> and basically, what I've done is I've just ground this off. Now, the reason I've used this is because I know that um, it's the right angle. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I've got a hole here. I'm going to um, use like a self-tapping screw bolt nut thing and then fasten this to the actual body um, because what I've what I've not mentioned to you is that <laughs> after I fit the exhaust the hangers, you just come off the hangers again so um, it's currently still off the road the vehicle until I can get order some of these yeah so that's the plan so um, yeah so I'll fit that um, and I'll show you fitting it and, I, and again I'll get back to you. So if you do have the same issue as me with the exhaust and you don't want to pay someone to weld it, maybe, maybe this will work. We'll soon find out. Um, yeah, we'll find out what we, whether it will work or not. Um, when I do get the stainless fitted, um, I will ask them to make a new, a complete new setup type of um, brackets because, the, as you know, these are these are poor unless they're on the actual vehicle and they're pretty solid. So I'll show you in the next clip. I'll show you it being fitted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this into the body. 
That's one minute. <clears throat> I'm gonna screw it into the body like so. From there, and that should hopefully make a new bracket. So my plan is, let's see if I can get it some light on here. Let's do it. My plan is to drop the exhaust and fit it to one of the new mounting brackets there, the one that's broke there. Um, it's hard to do it. I'm gonna drop this down anyway, and then we'll go from there. All right, so as you can see, I have one of the brackets intact still. Pretty solid, the other one's broke off. So the plan would be to sort of screw it in like so. Um, or like so. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm not even sure this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it out. So bear with me. I've done two of them. One, two, they're pretty solid in. Now I'm going to try and firm fit the exhaust now to that one and that one. I am going to cable tie it as well um, around there to keep it safe um, and keep it on there. Right, so now that's hanging on there. It doesn't look like it's on. Um, very tight, but I think I'll sort of have to do for a bit. I'm going to zip tie it anyway, um, just to see. But it's one of them, um, it's one of them, um. I only need it to do until I put the new engine in and then what I'll do is I'll get a um, stainless uh, exhaust made until um, and I'll get them to do the full brackets as well so it's just got to see me by um, yeah so I just want to say thank you very much for, for watching um, the reason I'm not having no videos for a while is because it's weather weather's a bit crap